How and where to start collecting Seraphon? Hello, this is 60 Goblins in One Brush with a video about how and where to start collecting Seraphon. Because one of you asked me if I could make a video about exactly this topic and I thought about it for a few weeks. It took me a few weeks because it's not an easy answer because it is not an easy question. If it would be, you would have the answer yourself. It's a very good question. So I took some time to really uh, get a good answer for you. The short answer is if you ever get one of these huge Battle Force boxes around Christmas time or somewhere in a shop where it's left over, buy it. The long answer is right now both start collecting boxes are not ideal. They both have shortcomings and it really depends now with the new battle tome which angle you want the Seraphon to play or which version, which host of Seraphon you want to play on your battlefield. Basically, there are three different options. Either you want to play a magic heavy army, then you need Slan. And there's no start collecting boxes with Slan because they're old resin models. But if you want to play a magic heavy army, then you need to buy Slan, at least two. There's one Slan model, there's one Lord Croak model, and then there are lots of other Skink Magicians, uh, which you also need some of them. And the Astralis Star Bearer, for example, is good as well. But you have to buy them piece by piece, individually. There's no start collecting. The second way to play Seraphon is monster heavy. So you need Carnosaurs, Daggerdons, Bastilodons and so on. Now right now there is no start collecting box with Staggerdons, which is strange because they wanted to make it possible to have a Staggerdon heavy army. But right now you have to buy them separately. There used to be some boxes with Staggerdons, but now not anymore. Now you have the Skink collecting box with a Bastilodon and you have the Start collecting Seraphon with a Carnosaur or Troglodon. For a monster heavy army, the Start collecting Seraphon box with a Carnosaur, which also has the Troglodon option, is a very good start because the Carnosaur costs about as much as the start collecting box. So you get the Carnosaur and you get some Soros Warriors and Soros Cavalry on top, almost for free. The Skink start collecting box is not a good start for the monster heavy army because you only need one Bastilodon and it's the most expensive model point wise in the Seraphon army so you only need one. And then the third option you can play Seraphon is in Skinks. You can play a Skink Heavy Army. Skinks are very difficult to play. If you need any advice how to play Seraphon, especially things like Skinks, Caleb Hastings is the best channel. He's a very, very nice guy. I really like him. And he has all kinds of advice how to play Skink, paint Skink, how to build in LED lights and so on. It's a very good Seraphon channel. He's the guy about Seraphon. If you do want to play Skinks, which is a funny way to play Seraphon, you need lots and lots and lots of them. It's a horde army. So unfortunately, in the start collecting Skinks book, there are only 10 Skinks, which is totally, I don't understand it. Even 20 would not be much. A start collecting skinks box must have 30 or 40 skinks because you need about a hundred or so. So what the fuck are you supposed to do with 10 skinks, a few flying dinosaurs and a bastelodon? It's, it's a very bad start collecting set. I'm looking forward to Doug from 2 Plus Tough making a video about this start collecting set because um, he likes to do these things. He likes to make start collecting review videos and he hasn't done one about this yet. I'm very curious uh, what he will say about this because this is not something, this is not a start collecting box. No one can buy this box and then start playing Seraphon. 
but if you want to play skinks then this is a possible start but you need much more than one box and but you do not need more than one bestelodon so i don't really see uh, the benefit in buying more than one of those boxes because the skinks themselves they're a cheap unit you get 24 models for 25 pounds 31 euros or 38 dollars that's not much so buy a lot of those boxes or buy them used on ebay that's the best for skinks skinks are also very easy and a lot of fun to paint you can paint them all different colors and they're easy to paint then for almost all armies except skinks you need a lot of soros warriors for the magic heavy army even soros guard is better i think it if you want to play magic heavy with lots of slun also buy some soros guard boxes they're also not so expensive because they're 15 and so and soros warriors the main battle line is also quite cheap to buy the 20 models for 25 pounds but if you like to play soros warriors and if you like the monster heavy army then definitely the start collecting zero boxes some seraphon boxes something for you because you have 12 soros warriors and a carnosaur this is very useful i don't know what this is with these uneven numbers like 24 and 12 and stuff like this this is th those are not unit sizes you need either 5 or 10 the only weird thing about this box is that you get 8 Soros Knights again 8 is useless you need 5 or 10 and unfortunately also they didn't update the Soros cavalry very much it's a weak unit in my eyes I mean, if you have different experience, please tell me. But for me, it's a weak unit. It should have been made much stronger. And the weirdest thing is that they didn't make them faster. The Dark Elf Cold One Knights is the same thing. The same animals they ride on. And they're much faster because Dark Elves ride them. It doesn't make any sense. Any sense at all. So at least if the unit would be fast, like the, the Dawn Riders now, the Lumineth, yeah? They're not very strong, or the, the Marauders, the Chaos Marauders, very weak uh, unit, but they're super fast. So that's okay then. But a slow cavalry that's not heavy hitting, there's no use for it in my eyes. So these eight Soros Knights, I don't know what to do with them. It's I have loads at home because I got some of these boxes back when I started uh, collecting Seraphon and I don't know what to do with them. You can rebuild them into Razor Dons and uh, Fire Salamanders, which I have made some videos about. So right now there is no clear cut way when you start to collect a seraphon uh, buy three boxes of this or three boxes of that and then you're set it's unfortunately not that way so i recommend to you first decide if you want to play dracothian's tale or fangs of sotek or coratel's claw or thunder lizards respectively if you want to play starborn or coalesced meaning basically slants conjuring everything up of out of the memories or coalesce the ones that have transformed into real living beings like in the old world if you want to play coalesced which means basically lots of sorrows both for coalesce's claw and for thunder lizards the old start collecting seraphon books is quite good because it's cheaper to buy the start collecting box than to buy the Carnosaur and the Soros Warrior separately. And you don't really need the Soros Knights unless you really want them, but you get them for free anyway on top. While well, the start collecting Skinks is only worth it if you want the Bastillodon and the Pterodons, respectively Ripodactyls. Those are really expensive units money wise, especially the Pterodon. They're the most expensive, basically. They're only three models for 44 euros. They are very beautiful, 
And they're sometimes out of stock. Sometimes they start collecting skinks. Book is the only way you can buy them. And they're fun to paint. But they're not. it's not a very strong unit. It's a very special kind of play style if you play Ripper Ducktales or Terradons. But if you want to play them, the start collecting skinks book is good. But you probably don't need a lot of Bastillodons because they're point-wise so expensive. And the skinks you will just get on top for the skinks. You really need to buy a lot of skinks used or in boxes. And Slan, as I said, you need to buy them separately. There are no box and the same goes for Stegadon. The Stegadons are now 48 euros, so also very expensive for a, an old model. has not been updated and you need them basically if you want to play Thunder Lizard. So right now Seraphon is an expensive army to buy. It's not like Beast Claw Raiders where you can buy some start collecting boxes and you're set. And I say again, if you ever see some Thunder Lizards collecting books or some Battle Force Seraphon by this. This is always the best deal. The only good thing that I can say about start collecting Seraphon is that the Skinks, the Soros and the Soros Guard are not expensive boxes. But don't get me started on Croxicores. Unfortunately, there are other companies now who realize the dire need for Croxicore models. So they started to produce them, but some of them you can only buy files that you download and print out on a 3D printer yourself. And there's another company now that uh, should release their Croxigo models in December. I'm looking forward to that. If that turns out to be a valid option, I'll tell you. So have fun collecting Seraphon. Unfortunately, you need to piece them, piece your army together. And if you like Carnosaurs or Troglodons, then the old start collecting books is still a good choice. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on Patreon. Thank you for subscribing and sharing the videos with your friends and see you very soon. And don't forget the Lumineth Ether Quartz Basing Challenge. <laughs>